Hello, DDP students. And in this tutorial, we're going to wrap up the Degrees of Freedom Assembly. And where we left off in the last tutorial is we created a new component and we called it Slider 1. And here we are, and we're going to create a sketch. And what we want is the right face. Okay, I'm gonna come for position. My um, Fusion's uh, been acting a little wonky in its orientation, but this is what we want. We want the right face showing and we want it to be in this orientation. So I'm just gonna move that over. And I'm gonna create a circle. Okay, we're gonna make it 0.5. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna get a rectangle. Get around it, we'll dimension it. Okay, I'm gonna hit D to activate my dimensioning tool. And it's just gonna be a one by one. Okay, and then we're gonna dimension center circle to the bottom. We'll set that at 0.5. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. Do this. Okay. Centered. We're now going to um, finish the sketch. We're going to extrude just this outside part. Let's turn it. And we're going to do a 1.5 distance. Okay. And that's going to be our slider. So we are now going to um, orientate this a little differently. No, actually, I'm going to keep it the same. All right, so I'm going to go to assemble, joint. And for this motion, I'm going to choose cylinder or cylindrical. OK, go back to position. And I'm going to hit the center target. And let's go over to our assembly. And where we want it is somewhere in here. Let's check that out. There we go. And we are just going to set that. We can drag it. There we go. So this has both translational and rotational. Okay, so let's activate our top level assembly. As you could see, um, we were able to move this block through here. So we're gonna take care of that um, and the end of the video. But right now, we're going to create a new component. We'll call this slider two. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to cube one. We're going to right click. We're going to copy it. And we're going to do another paste new. And let's just move on. And um, where we want this, here. we want this in the sort of we go to assemble joint, and I'm going to assemble the okay, so we're going to get our assembly joint. We're going to hit that middle target. And we're going to hit the center point of this cutaway. All right. So what we're looking for in the motion here is slider. So it was on cylindrical. We want to move it to slider. And you'll notice that um, when it was activated, and activate that joint.
that it's going up and down. Okay, and that's not what we want. So what we're gonna do, we're going to um, just do this again. We're going to um, change the axis direction. Okay. Choose the center point again. And um, we're gonna go to motion. And instead of the Z axis, we're gonna choose the Y axis. It's gonna give us what we want. Let's go back to position, hit okay. Okay. And we should be able to just move this. Now, as you can see, we can move things past where they should be. So we're going to solve this problem. by making a few changes. Okay. Let's just go to our home view. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're going to now activate our top assembly. Okay, so everything is here. And so, all right. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to enable all contact, or I'm sorry, enable contact set, or let's just do enable all contact, right? And we are gonna go back there we're gonna do new contact set. We're going to select this whole thing and we're gonna select this here. We're gonna hit okay. And now that hits this right here and it doesn't go beyond that. Okay, so now we're going to um, create a new contact set Okay, we're going to hit this, and we're going to hit this, okay, and if this is working, this only goes to here. Oops, didn't work. So let's go back. Okay, so after a little um, uh, investigation, I found out that it was indeed working. You just have to like not really force it beyond this wall. So I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna do a new contact set and I'm going to choose this and the base. And when I hit okay, okay it's gonna, gonna hit that wall, it's gonna hit this wall and that's the way that goes, okay? Okay, so that worked. And lastly, we're going to do a new contact set. We're going to choose this component in the base. OK. And then that should allow us to drag it within this here. OK. And that is the um, end of this assembly. Um, what I'm going to have you do is I want you to create a short video showing the motion of joystick, um, activate the joints of, um, animate the joints of these components, and then enter a screenshot of this in your engineer's notebook. And that will be it. Have a nice rest of your day.